Welcome to your online video recap in association with thestandard.com. Hi, Jamie. Great to see you uh, out on the range doing a little bit of work on your game. Uh, as promised, just a few points uh, to note in regards to the stack and tilt swing pattern next time you go out and practice. A uh, couple of things here. It's more of a more of an overview, really, um, than an online lesson or recap, just to give you a little bit of food for thought in regards to what you're doing and where you may or may not be going wrong. First of all, when we look at it from down the line here, first thing I would do is I would get the base of your neck or get the chin down so that the back of the neck is actually more inclined to the ground than the base of your back. That makes it a little bit easier for you to keep the ball in your central vision and also makes it easier for the left shoulder to trace the correct path during the backswing. From that setup position, what we're going to see is maintaining the flex in the right knee as per traditional coaching methods. The only problem with that is it forces the shoulders to turn on quite a level angle. So if I put a line here, the shoulders should turn at 90 degrees to the spine, so 90 degrees to your inclination to the ground. And we can see here that as we go back, the shoulders are swinging on or turning on a much flatter angle than they should. And as a result, the club is beginning to get rolled behind us during the takeaway. We've got a limited capacity to turn when we flex forward. And this can be seen when we look at it from face on. As you go back, you can see the head moving off the golf ball. You can see the head moving up and away, which is a sign that the player isn't tilting to the left sufficiently. So remember, when we, do, when we make the backswing, the spine has to be turning, extending, and tilting to the left. When we see a player moving off the ball, there's plenty of turn, there's plenty of extension, but there isn't enough left tilt. So in other words, if the left shoulder was able to work down better during the takeaway, we would be more in this position with the spine and the head would stay in this box. The issue we have here is when the upper centre moves off this much, the circle in which we swing, the arc of the swing, is moved to the right also. And now you've just made hitting the ground behind the ball quite easy. And you've now brought in the need to lunge back across during the downswing to shift this circle back into its original position. And we can see that in the transition from backswing to downswing. There's a lunge off, a lunge back into the ball. And as we do that, the radius of the swing expands. You can see there the club getting thrown away from us. We're now in a really good position to hit this, hit the ground behind the ball. The plane line is shifted to the left. So drawing the ball from there is going to be nigh and impossible. And then also what we see in the through swing are the elbows dividing. You can see there the gap between the elbows at that point. much wider than at address. And the main reason for that is preventative. It's a, a way of preventing the club digging in the ground. Going back to down the line, we can also see that the hips are turning a little bit more level than they were at address. And that again is that standing up piece without a sufficient left tilt. So this is something we can go over when we get out on the range uh, and do a little bit of work on your game. In regards to your foot flirt, I'd still have this foot out a little bit more, maybe turn it out about 25 degrees. If we watch what happens as you come through impact, this is in regards to sort of preventing injury, etc., as well as improving the overall ability to dispatch the ball online. If we watch the left foot as you come through, starts to spin. As the body tries to rotate with the left foot turned in, we've got a limited capacity to turn. So in order to allow that turn to happen, the left foot slips out. 
can see there the left knee maintaining its flex, which again is not an ideal situation. But really that move there is suggesting that that left foot wants to be in that position at setup. So as I said, we get that left foot turned out much more. I'd actually have both feet turned out a little bit more. I'd have this right foot about here and the left foot that touch more, maybe sort of that position at setup. So just on reflection, if you want to go to the range between now and when we do get together, I would suggest the key thoughts are feet out and let the right leg straighten during the backswing. Letting the right leg straighten during the backswing will improve your tilts on the way back and also allow the left shoulder, I'm just going to zoom this in, would allow the left shoulder to trace a slightly more downward path during the backswing. You see how your left shoulder moves across quite a lot. It needs to move down more. Super drill for you would be, once you turn the feet out, straighten the right leg out so you're in a really locked position with the right leg. Focus on initiating the backswing with the left shoulder working down and go hit some shots, keeping that right leg straight. So you've got to let that right knee straighten during the backswing to facilitate a more centered turn. Good luck with it. I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks. Well done.